This is a question from theory of computation. Consider the following statements about the context-free grammar. And we are given a grammar G. And three points are given. G is ambiguous. G produces all strings with equal number of A's and B's. G can be accepted by a deterministic pushdown automata. Which combination below expresses all the true statements about G? And four options are given. So let's consider each and every option one by one. First option is G is ambiguous. So a grammar G is said to be ambiguous if it can generate more than one parse tree for an input string. Consider this input string that is A, B, A, B, A, B. This can be generated using two parse trees. The first parse tree would be S derives S, S. Now this S can derive again S and S. This S can derive A, B, this S can derive A, B, and this S can also derive A, B. So this string is generated. Now one more pass tree is possible. That is S derives S, S. Now this S can derive A, B, this S can again derive S, S, and this S can derive A, B. Similarly, this S can derive A, B. This manner, more than one parse tree is generated for the same input string. So, G is ambiguous. This is correct. Second question or second point. G produces all strings with equal number of A's and B's. Here, the grammar is able to produce input strings of the form A, B followed by B, A or A, B, A, B. In that form, strings are getting generated. But one string that the grammar is not able to generate here is that it cannot generate A, A, B, B. This string cannot be generated by this given grammar. So this option, option 2, G produces all strings with equal number of A's and B's. This is not correct because A, A, B, B cannot be accepted or generated by this grammar. So this option is false. Option 3, G can be accepted by a deterministic pushdown automata. Yes, this is true. G can be accepted by a deterministic pushdown automata. How we can do is that, suppose upon seeing A, we push into the stack and upon seeing B, we pop it. If we continue to do this, this can be done using a pushdown automata to derive the grammar G. So option 3 is correct. Now based on the options 1 and 3, option B is the right answer here.